Hi, this is Priscilla from CrossFit 1088 and today we're going to talk about ways that you can make your workouts more effective. I get a lot of questions about how can I do more in less time and one of the ways that you can do that is by incorporating a kettlebell. So starting with today's episode and for the next six, we're going to introduce a new kettlebell movement to you every week. We're going to start with the simplest one today and then we're going to progress on to the more complicated ones but still very effective exercises. So let's start with the first one and that is the kettlebell deadlift. I want you to think about two things when you include this movement in your workouts. Number one is weight. Because it's a deadlift, you're going to be using a lot of muscle groups and you want to make sure that you've got a kettlebell that's substantial enough that's going to tax your muscles. So we're not talking about a kettlebell that's 10 pounds or less. You need something at least 20 pounds, preferably 50, 60, 70 pounds because you are picking this up off the ground and you're using your large muscles. The second thing that I want you to think about is your posture on this movement and to know that this isn't a squat so we're not bending our knees a lot although we'll bend them a little bit but we're keeping that posture very tall and you're going to be hinging from your hips here forward instead of um, bending or flexing the spine here so I want you to think about your posture staying tall and hinging at your hips. That said, let's take a look at the setup for the kettlebell deadlift. You want to start with your feet wide, straddling that kettlebell. You're going to, as I said before, keep that posture tall. Your arms are going to stay straight throughout the whole movement, so you don't want to bend your elbows when you come to the top. Just let that kettlebell stay in your hands. I'm going to hinge forward, leading with my chest, hands on my kettlebell, and I'm just going to stand up with it. It's as simple as that. That is a kettlebell deadlift. To do them in succession, I stand up, and then I tap, and I stand up and I tap. Every time you stand up, you count one rep. So this is a 30-pound 30, 30 kettlebell that I'm using. Let me show you the 55. Um, it's the same thing, it's just a little bit heavier. And I'll demonstrate this one from the side, just so you can see that hinge type of movement. Once you're finished with your set of kettlebell deadlifts, you want to just simply put that kettlebell on the ground and stand up. That way it'll protect your back and it will uh, allow you to stand up freely and be able to keep that good posture all the way through the movement. So that's the kettlebell deadlift. We've gone through all of the pointers for that movement. We talked a little bit about weight. I'd like for you to include it in your workouts this week and to let us know how it works for you. You can leave a comment below. You can certainly like this video and stay tuned in the following weeks to see new movements that you can add to your workouts.